microbiome is essentially all of the microbes that are a part of the human body that, that make us and keep us healthy. Um, we're learning more and more about how many bugs are a part of our bodies and, and how they're important. It's an amazing uh, and new open area of research, which is just, just so fascinating for me. And I think it's so cool that now we're able to do this type of analysis not only on the human genome, but on what's called the bacterial metagenome as well. Mm. And that's the combination of all the different microbes that are present, for example, in your gut. So there's so much data available now on which specific strains of microbes are present, mm. but metabolomics can go a step further and tell us what products those bacteria are making that are actually the way they impact our health. And now that there are more and more therapies that use the immune system in some way, um, such as for cancer treatment, understanding how the microbiome can help or hinder those kinds of therapies is going to be really essential. It's so important to cast the widest possible net um, when studying uh, metabolites that might be coming from the microbiome. Here at Metabolon, we have the capability to identify the structures of new metabolites, and that's one of my favorite types of R&D projects to work on. And actually one of the great powerful things about metabolomics is that whether you're in a bacteria system, whether you're in a dog or a cat or a human, your energy cycle or your energy production is the same process, it's the same chemistry, right? So it's actually very translatable across different systems. And so you ultimately get a much richer stream of data to be able to understand in all of these different model systems how they connect. So by studying the metabolomics, you can actually get a great deal of information about what's relevant in your genetic code. Yeah. And I think it's really interesting too that the genomics of the, of the, the microbiome rapidly changes, like bacteria are designed to change their genetic code rapidly. And so at the end of the day, what's really important is what are those bugs doing? What are their metabolic functions? So they really tie together beautifully. Because it's got so much data and there's such a breadth of molecules that are detected, is that a researcher or investigator would get this list and, and essentially not know how to interpret it. So the interpretation of this data is incredibly important and it's really bringing together that underlying chemistry and biology and what it means in your study.